Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new home. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you it is a total wreck. We don't get our furniture until Sunday. So we have no furniture right now except for some pieces the previous owners left. Um, the walls, all the walls need painted really bad. So please ignore all that. Um, in the next few months, we'll be working on that together. Um, so anyway, this is the, uh, this is the, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? It's the living room. It's the formal living room. Hello. Thank you. I'm standing at, right in my door, right in my front door, looking in, and this is the formal living room. Um, and that's the formal pussycat, that's Tiger, that's Tiger. And I'll try not to move too fast, there's RC. Uh, I'm not gonna do a lot of walking in this video because it'll be jumpy. I have a gimbal and I can't find the charging cord for it. So I'm not gonna do any walking videos until I get the gimbal. So anyway, I'll, I'll go from the different rooms and I won't show you everything, but I'll show you some things. Now this is the dining room, uh, but there again, it is, it's too small for my taste. So uh, this is going to be Brian's area. He's going to um, turn this into like a little music nook. We're going to put... Um, a divider up and yeah this is going to be Brian's area okay now this is the den um, this furniture the previous owner left except for the TV trays and there's my cat tiger um, <clears throat> I'm actually glad <laughs> they actually left them because like I said we won't be getting our furniture uh, until um, we won't get our furniture until Sunday so we've got, I, we're finding lamps and some things packed, but yeah, this is, this is it. And you can tell this room really needs painted. They left those lamps up on the, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm not thinking, I'm so tired. They left the lamps up on the mantle. Uh, I set the ginger drum and the teddy bear up there for lack of having anywhere else to put it. It will not be living there, neither one of those, but anyway. That's, <laughs> this is the, the den. And uh, let me show you the kitchen. Okay, my kitchen is an absolute mess right now. Uh, it, <laughs> it is small. We do have granite countertops and we have a gas stove. Um, and then you can see out back, out our backyard. And the cat's following me around for some reason. Uh, I've just got stuff everywhere. I'm making tea. Because uh, I found a pot. I found a lone pot. I'm sorry, I just swirled around. That's probably too I found, I found a pot so I can make some tea. Um, you can see our laundry room in there. And there is the den. So that's a quick little tour. I'm not going to show you bedrooms. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's got the little laundry room, uh, mud room. And uh, that's it. The house is. Uh, just a little over 1,700 square feet. Um, it was an estate sale. The I'll take you outside. Let's finish talking out and looking off the back. Okay, here we are, my backyard. We got boxes, trash, furniture that they left. Um, this is a um, fire, it's like a, gosh, a fireplace. I'm so sorry guys, I am so so tired you just don't know um, but yeah this is uh, our backyard I'm gonna go real slow we have a uh, privacy fence all the way around it there it goes and then I'm sorry if it's shaking like I said I my gimbal needs charged and that's the neighbor's house over there and we have all these azalea bushes and it's pretty cool and 
the deck extends out like that. It's hard to see. But that's that's the backyard. Now this was an estate sale. The gentleman who lived here passed away. This was not his primary residence. This was his, um, I guess for lack of a better word, vacation spot. He uh, lived in Pennsylvania, owned several restaurants. He and his father had owned several restaurants uh, in the past. He had owned um, restaurants in Savannah, in Charleston, in Columbia, in Pennsylvania, and uh, they had one here in Camden, but it closed down uh, quite a few years ago. Um, this gentleman passed away from a long illness. Uh, I don't know what that illness was, but uh, yeah. Um, so the house had been uh, unlived in for I think at least a couple years. The reason he bought a house here in Camden, and I'm sorry if it's noisy, there's a busy street behind me and there looks like they're doing some road work over there. Um, the reason he moved to Camden is for the horses. Camden is horse country. It is the uh, world capital for steeplechase races. And there's a huge race that happens here called the Carolina Cup. And the Carolina Cup will be April 1st this year. And this sleepy, I won't say sleepy, but this little town of 7,000 is invaded by at least 70,000 people for this race. It's a huge deal. They have, um, they have uh, tailgating that starts on Friday and then races all day on Saturday. And I've ar we've already been told by several locals that um, don't try to go out that weekend, uh, if you can even get out. When um, we told people we had moved here and people ask, oh, where, where's your new house, where you're living? And we tell them and they're like, oh. Because right behind me, across, across the street from me is a house and then it's all woods. And then on the other side of the woods is the racetrack. So um, on the street I live off of, um, the main street, uh, that's where the Walmart is, and then that's also where the stables are, lots of the stables, the Carolina Cup, um, the uh, uh, Country Club, and all that is down this road. And so, this is kind of a happening little spot for horse people. So, yeah, I think on that weekend we're not going anywhere. And I'll let you know if I can actually hear the horse race. I don't know if I'm that close. But it is just not far behind me. Or in front of me. Yeah, in front of me. So, anyway. And that gentleman who owned this house, he owns several race horses. And he also, I'm not sure what he did with the Carolina Cup, but he was like some big honcho over the Carolina Cup, um, one of many. He wasn't like the president of the club or anything or however that works, but he was very, very uh, prominent and had a lot to do with it. And so I'm, I'm sorry, Skip, his name was Skip. Sorry, Skip, but we're not horse people. But I don't know, maybe we'll go sometime, but not this year. So anyway, that's the history of this house and uh, we're very lucky to get it. Uh, I wanted four bedroom, but we'll deal with three. Uh, it is um, a lot more square footage because we went from a thousand square feet, we were in a very small house, to a little over 1,700 square feet. So we're very happy about that. So guys, that is my little tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I know you're seeing a lot of the backyard, but it is so pretty today. It is gorgeous and we are still moving making trips up and down the mountain, getting our stuff. So yeah, I'll get back into a regular routine with you guys as soon as I can. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>